Back in the bad old days, wine drinkers were forced to decant much of the wine they purchased as a bottle may contain not only wine but an assortment of gross solids in the form of crusts, crystals and other foreign bodies. Today even small scale winemakers have access to filtration equipment and techniques that ensure clear bright wine and cider in every bottle. But in storage, even filtered wine, particularly when stored at low temperatures in cellars, fridges or cold rooms, can spontaneously produce crusts and deposits in the base of the bottle. This is usually the result of the precipitation of crystals of the naturally occurring tartaric acid as its solution in the wine becomes supersaturated. It's particularly a problem in white wines and rosés as they are stored and served cold. The answer to this problem is to cold stabilise the wine before it's bottled. This is achieved by cooling the wine in a cold room, fridge or with a vat cooling system. If the wine is likely to be stored, say at 4 degrees centigrade in a domestic fridge or a restaurant cold room, then that is the temperature the wine should be dropped to. The wine should be held at or below that temperature for some days to allow for crystallisation to occur and then it's filtered to remove floating crystals before being returned to room temperature. The process can be speeded up by stirring fine crystals of cream of tartar into the wine when it's been chilled. In this particular case we used 0.1 of a gram of cream of tartar per litre of wine and stored the wine at 2 degrees centigrade in a cold room for four days. The tiny crystals act as seeds around which larger crystals grow, some floating, some attaching to the sides of the vessel and some settling on the bottom. The wine is then pumped through a filter as it leaves the vessel in the cold room, leaving much of the tartrate behind in the vessel and capturing a small proportion in the filter. In this particular case, the wine passes first through a 5 micron filter which catches the bulk of the crystals and then the 1 micron cartridge. It can now be bottled, safe in the knowledge that you won't end up with an unsightly crust or crystals in your otherwise superb wine.